My name is Yanti Ismail and um, I'm, I'm a feminist artist. I'm also part artist and part humanitarian worker. So the work that I do in human rights also um, informs and influences um, the, the artwork that I do because uh, you can't discuss women's rights issues unless it's contextualized within human rights issues. I challenge this, this societal construct of, of how women should exist in society. I challenge the religious and, and cultural norms that try to dictate how women should exist in society. And that really becomes the thrust and the cornerstone to, to the kinds of works that I produce. I almost exclusively paint women. Um, I also almost exclusively paint women in the nude. And um, that's, that's one approach that I've taken in order to try to reclaim um, the, the female nude body um, and take it back from the male gaze and, and reinterpret it and reposition it as a feminist issue within a feminist narrative. I think that's important because far too long, patriarchy also defines the woman's body as only um, lewd or sexual or virginal or dirty and shameful. And this is one of the attempts that I make as well in order to, to change this narrative. The biggest change is social media, of course, that now everything is online and therefore accessible. It's quite difficult for me to say whether or not perception of these issues have changed because exposure to the artworks was not as great 15 years ago. I do know now that, you're, that I do get quite a bit of reaction from the public in some of the works that I, I work on. Um, and some men came to talk to me while I was painting and they felt quite um, offended by the portrayal of this woman who was curvy. And that was really interesting because um, even on social media, I have received criticism or, or allegations that um, I am a proponent of fat or glorifying fat. I am a firm advocate for women to be seen as more than their bodies. I'm a firm advocate that women need to feel not ashamed of whatever form they take in, in their bodies and challenge whatever pervasive um, media construct that says that a woman needs to look a certain way. Um, and I thought that's really interesting now with social media that people seem to um, be so uh, accustomed to seeing women as a certain type that when you're challenging them with an image of a woman that looks um, different, they're not able to accept it. Well, one of the art pieces that, that I've revisited uh, quite a few times um, in my art career uh, is, is a signature piece I've, I've made. I, I named it um, Keep Your Laws Off My Body. And um, it's essentially a woman standing defiant, looking at the public, um, pushing aside all the norms that try to dictate how she should exist, the cultural, religious, societal, um, state norms, in fact. Um, this piece was actually done um, uh, as a street art piece uh, last year for Women's Day, and um, it got quite a bit of uh, public reaction, which is really wonderful. Um, as an artist who works on canvas, you don't often get to paint in public, and so that, that, was, that was really great. The other piece that, that I've done, which, which I'm, I'm particularly fond of, is, is actually this one that's um, behind me. I, um, I produced this because <laughs> um, in recent years, increasingly um, in Malaysia, Muslim women are pressured uh, to wear the headscarf. Um, in fact, it's become more and more this idea that, um, you know, your, your, the, the, the weight of meaning that's put on women's hair, to me, is unreasonable. I haven't named this, but if I could name it, I'd probably call it Just Hair. I decided to do a piece that was all about the woman's hair because um, far too long, there's so much meaning that's put on women's bodies and anything to do with the, women, the, the, the female body part. It's either we're virginal or we're dirty or we're shameful or we're sexual and enough. Um, for me, art needs to do more than just evoke a certain feeling. Um, art should trigger conversation, it should uh, provoke discourse, um, and, and that's, that's quite important to, to the work that I do. To change the world, we need to be able to imagine what this changed world can look like. And isn't that the best use of the arts? If, if arts isn't about imagination, then what is? To me, you, you take, art takes from culture in order to create culture, and if done well, it can impact culture. And I think that's where you see art 
in its role as a social influencer that's so tremendous and powerful.